channel and today I'll be making a my take video but it's not anything that happened recently it's just about something that's been bothering me um in k-pop and something that I thought was really important to discuss so let's dive in so guys today I'll be talking about something that I believe is a very controversial yet important topic when it comes to k-pop um, as we know, idols do a lot of things like cultural appropriation and maybe making colorist remarks that offend fans. However, I believe we often focus on idols and their behavior, but it's really important for us to also focus on the behavior of K-pop fans and just how like anti-black K-pop fans can be. So K-pop fans tend to do a lot of things. For example, K-pop fans don't like rap music unless it's like done by an artist, which is okay, but rap music was originated um, by black people. So for them to say they don't like any rap music at all until an idol like BTS does it, it feels very anti-black because there's so many different artists out there and rappers out there with different genres that I'm sure they would like, but they just, I feel like stereotype rapping as one genre and rapping about one thing and don't actually take the time to listen to different rap artists and rap styles and so they like it when k-pop artists do it because they like those artists maybe not necessarily because they like the genre but they like what the artists that they enjoy is doing it so it just feels very anti-black for k-pop fans to say that they won't they don't like rap as a genre until k-pop artists do it especially because k-pop artists are taking it from black people um uh next something that feels really anti something that's really anti-black that k-pop fans do is telling black people what is offensive and what is not offensive so oftentimes when k-pop artists culturally appropriate or do things that offend black fans there's always a group of non-black fans who come in and tell us that we shouldn't be offended by this why don't we just share our culture and tell us things of that nature However, it's very anti-black and offensive to tell someone what they should be offended about by their own culture. As a black person, it's really not enjoyable for me to tell someone I'm offended by something and have a bunch of different comments telling me that the idol didn't mean it and didn't know better and telling me I shouldn't be offended. I'm allowed to be offended when I see my culture misused in a way that I don't like because cultural appreciation and cultural appropriation are two very distinct things. Um, so yeah, you shouldn't tell a black person or anyone for that matter what should offend them. So if you see someone, especially my videos, I always say it and there's always people who are telling me I shouldn't be offended. Please don't tell me what I should or shouldn't be offended by because it is my culture and I know more about black culture than you do. So just don't tell me why I shouldn't be offended by it or don't tell other black fans what they should or shouldn't be offended by. And don't just take the word of one black fan who's not offended and run with that because there's most likely more that are offended than not offended. Um, something else that feels anti-black is when um, idols use um, African-American vernacular or like slang we use A-A-V-E and you tell us that that's just stand Twitter language and that it's something different in Korean when obviously that's not true. Like this happened with Robin of um one is he kept using no cap yesterday and a lot of people were like hey you can't just keep using no cap without any like specific like meaning behind it so it was like super confusing um and his fans started saying that it meant something different in korean but it doesn't it comes from um, african-american vernacular so when idols use things like that without knowing the meaning and fans try to defend it as internet slang or language it's actually very anti-black of them because that language comes from the black community um I spoke about like what offends us, but like telling and telling us not to get offended over hairstyles is like just the worst. It's something super anti-black to me because black people struggle so much with like what hairstyle is considered a professional, which hairstyle is considered okay to wear. Like, and people will respect you if you wear it because you have to think about whether people will be, like perceive you a certain way. So for you to tell us not to be offended and that's just a hairstyle is very anti-black. K-pop fans have. K-pop fans have this tendency to call out idols and defend them, but I feel like we also have to call out the other anti-black fans and fandoms and those who don't want to um, uplift the voice of black fans just shouldn't be fans of a group, honestly. Because if you can't understand the other side of your fandom and you think it's just one monolith, then it's really like 
anti-black and racist to not understand why people are offended to not understand what's wrong with not liking rap music before you got into k-pop and things like that k-pop is a diverse music music genre but most of it does stem from inspiration and um, ideas from black music from black artists so it's very anti-black if you don't listen to black fans about their issues uh and yeah that's all i wanted to say that's just what i wanted to get off my chest uh thank you for listening um and thank you for watching subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on my notification bell i'll see you guys in the next video bye